If I had to pick one question that I get asked most often, it would be, Heather, how do you stay so fit at 50? Now, full transparency, I'm actually 49. I will be 50 this November. But I am going to share with you in today's video what I eat, my exercise routine, and a little bit about bioidentical hormones because I think those three things play a huge part in how I stay in shape and how I stay fit but more importantly, how I really feel like the best version of myself. This is not all about how I look. This is as much to do with how all of these things make me feel as it is how they make me look. In fact, the way I feel is definitely more important to me than how I look. So let's get right into it, ladies. How I stay fit at age 49. So first I wanna start with this. I think that 85% of the reason I am in shape and I am the size that I am is because of what I eat. So what you eat plays a much bigger role in your size and in how you feel and how you look than how much you work out. So don't get caught up in, oh my gosh, I have to work out five or six times a week in order to be my most fit self, right? No, you don't. What you eat is way more important. So first I'm gonna talk about my exercise routine, and then I'm gonna talk about what I eat and drink, and then I'm gonna talk about bioidentical hormones. So my exercise routine is this. I do work out five to six times a week. That is because it makes me feel good. When I get up in the morning, I'm a little bit anxious sometimes. Sometimes I feel a little sad because I'm going through a divorce and I've just been feeling a little off the last like six months. Nothing makes me feel better more than exercising, whether that's getting up and going on a walk, a 30, 45 minute walk, or maybe that's going to the gym, maybe that's doing yoga. But as long as I get up in the morning and I move my body, Body before I start my day, I always have a better day. I always feel better. I get a mood boost because guess what? Exercise gives us that dopamine hit in our brain. Exercise increases our serotonin levels in our brain. So nothing can help us more than moving our bodies in the morning. So here is my exercise routine. Three days a week, I work out at Ritual One. I actually just recently started doing this. So Ritual One is an amazing um, workout facility in Dallas. All of their rooms are extremely hot, 100 degrees with lots of humidity. And this is key because I sweat like a crazy woman when I do all of their workout classes. They basically combine yoga and light weights in all of their classes. They're amazing. Again, I sweat like a crazy woman, so I'm gonna do a really good job of detoxifying my body. Also, you you know lose a little bit of weight when you sweat that much. Like literally, it looks like I walked out of the shower when I walk out of these exercise rooms because it is that hot in there. So that's why I love these classes so much because of the hot hotness of it because of the temperature because I sweat so much and I really just you know detoxify my system like I said so doing some sort of hot yoga or hot weight lifting three times a week is key now prior to ritual one I was doing Bikram hot yoga three times a week that's a 90 minute class 105 degrees insane humidity I will say this, I probably sweat a little bit more in those Bikram yoga classes, but the reason I like Ritual One now better, like I said, I've been doing it for like the last four months, is because I still sweat as much as I did in Bikram. However, I get the weights added to my routine. So getting weights added to your routine after you're over 40 is key because our bodies need that weightlifting to overcome you know, some of that osteoporosis. Our bones and our muscles just need weightlifting as we get older. It doesn't have to be heavy weights, you guys. I literally lift five pound weights, sometimes two and a half pound weights, but it's just a lot of repetition. Again, don't think you have to lift heavy weights, but I would recommend if you're over 40, that you do incorporate weightlifting into your exercise routine at least two days a week. So I do the ritual one three days a week, okay? I will say I feel like I look more sculpted. I feel like my arms look more sculpted since I've been doing ritual one versus when I was doing Bikram yoga. So that's another reason I have decided to stick with ritual one moving forward. So I am gonna share a couple workout outfits throughout this video. Just know this as well. Everything I am talking about will be linked down below in my description box. But this is an amazing green set. This is what I would wear to a Ritual One. I just ordered this off of the Revolve website. I love this green tank. The leggings are high-waisted. And how fun is this green color for spring and summer? I absolutely love it. 
Now I do go to the YMCA two times a week and lift heavier weights. So I do body pump or I'll do a class, I think it's called body sculpt or body works. And basically it's cardio plus light weights, right? So in body pump on either side of the barbell, I will have five pounds. Sometimes I'll have a five and a two and a half. So again, I don't lift heavy weights, you guys. Just lifting light weights with lots of repetition is really all you need to do. And that's what I do when I go to the YMCA. Again, I love doing body pump. That's one of my favorite classes. I've been doing it for years and years and years. It's amazing. It keeps me toned in all muscle areas. It works every single muscle in your body. It's an hour long class. I love it. I highly recommend it. So I do that twice a week. And then on my sixth day, I will go to Black Swan Yoga. I love Black Swan Yoga. It's in Dallas as well. It offers really great yoga. It's not super hard, but it's hard enough to keep me challenged. It's not like super duper hot. So yes, I sweat a little bit, but it's not like I'm gonna have to wash my hair afterwards. Like honestly, that's why I only do ritual one three times a week because I don't wanna have to wash my hair every day. And after doing ritual one, because I sweat so much, I definitely have to wash my hair. But I will do yoga on the sixth day. Sometimes I'll just walk. Sometimes I'll go play tennis with my son. Sometimes I'll go play pickleball. Like, you know, it just depends. I just wanna move my body. Again, it's not about you have to work out six days a week or you have to lift weights this many days a week. It's more about getting up in the morning, moving your body, whether that's a walk, whether that's tennis, whether that's pickleball, whether that's going to ritual one, it doesn't matter. Just find a way that makes you happy and that keeps you motivated to move your body because that's the main key, right? That's the main thing you want to do is just get up every day, move your body, and you will be good to go. So this is a blue tank and blue leggings. This is by Viore, you guys. I love this brand. Everything is super soft. You can lounge in it. You can wear it out during the day. It's like, it's like basically workout wear that looks good enough to wear out during the day. So I'm obsessed with this color. It's beautiful. It's just like this beautiful blue shade that literally looks good, I think, on almost any skin tone. And then I topped it with their very comfortable gray zip-up hoodie. I love this jacket. It's so soft, like I said. It looks great with this workout outfit, but it also looks good with just like black leggings and a simple black tank. Now, if you're into pickleball or tennis like I am, then you will love this white tennis dress or pickleball dress. It's also by Viore, you guys. The fit is amazing. It's so slimming. It's so flattering. I love the fact that it's white. I think there's nothing more fresh and modern than wearing a white tennis dress. I think it just looks very classy, very elegant, and I just can't wait to wear this. I think I'm gonna actually go play pickleball this afternoon, and I will definitely be wearing this awesome white tennis dress or pickleball pickleball dress by Viore. Okay, let's get into what I eat every day. Because again, like I said, 85% of the way I look and the size that I am and how I feel is because of what I eat. So almost every single day, I start out with a vegan protein shake. I have blogged about this. I have talked about this shake that I have made for myself for probably the last 15 years. And I eat it around 11 a.m. because I do intermittent fasting. So I eat dinner at 6 p.m. I try to not eat later than 6 p.m. Now on occasion, if I go out with my girlfriends or something like that, I will eat later. So I don't do this every single day. I would say I intermittent fast about five days a week. Okay, so I eat dinner at 6 p.m. and then I try not to eat again until 10 or 11 the next day. As long as you go, I think it's at least 14 hours without eating, then you put your body in that fasting mode where it's gonna burn fat faster, okay? That's why I do intermittent fasting. It's also good for disease preventative. It's also good for boosting your immune system. Like there are literally so many benefits to intermittent fasting and I swear by it. I've been doing it for years and it really does help me maintain my weight. Now, I am not trying to lose weight. I am trying to maintain my weight. So if you're trying to actually lose weight, then you might need to you know, shift some things. Again, I am just sharing my experience. I am just sharing what works for me. I realize not everyone is the same. Not everyone has the same body type. I'm just here to kind of share what I do to help you look and feel like a better version of yourself. So I have this shake every morning. I will put the recipe down in my description box. It has vegan protein powder, I love it. It has a little bit of banana, a little bit of avocado, some berries, coconut water, 
maybe some chai seeds. Anyways, it's amazing. It keeps me full for hours. It's got protein in it, which is key, especially if you're gonna be lifting weights and working out. You wanna make sure you're eating enough protein. So this shake is awesome. I swear by it. Again, I've been drinking it for literally like 15 years, almost every single morning, and I love it. So I will be sure and link it down below. I eat a ton of salads, I eat a ton of fish, I eat a ton of chicken. So basically I eat, you know, leafy green vegetables. I eat a lot of salads, like I said, and then fish and chicken, and that's pretty much it, okay? Yes, occasionally I'll have french fries when I go out to dinner. Yes, occasionally I'll have chips and queso. Yes, occasionally I'll have a piece of chocolate cake, because guess what? I am not perfect, and I do not eat like this 100% of the time. I eat like this probably 85% percent of the time because you don't have to do anything 100% of the time, right? Life is about balance. So as long as you eat healthy most of the time, you're gonna be good to go. Don't deprive yourself of the things you love eating completely. Maybe you just have one dessert a day, like that's what I do, right? Because I have the biggest sweet tooth in the entire world. So although most of the day I eat healthy, right? Salads, the protein shake, you know, chicken, fish, sushi, you know, I love to eat tuna salad, chicken salad. You know, I snack on nuts, I snack on almonds, I snack on cashews. I love to eat almond butter with a green apple as a snack in the afternoon, things like that. But you know what, after dinner, I crave something sweet. So if I want that piece of chocolate cake, I'm gonna allow myself to have a piece of chocolate cake. Is it gonna be a huge piece? No, maybe just a few bites and I'm good to go. I also love eating chocolate covered almonds. So again, it doesn't have to be 100% of the time. Just make sure you're making healthy food choices about 80 to 85% of the time. At least that's what I do and that is what works for me. I'm also really adamant about not eating after 6 p.m. I try to eat dinner around 5.30 because again, I wanna do that intermittent fasting and I think that makes a really big difference and really does help me maintain my weight. Okay, here's what I drink, okay? I drink a cup of black coffee in the morning. I drink water the rest of the day, mostly regular water. Sometimes I'll drink sparkling water, like I love Waterloo's when I want something different, when I'm tired of drinking water, and I don't drink that much alcohol. Now, don't hate me for saying this, right? I know there's a lot of women out there who love their wine and no judgment here, right? I go out with my girlfriends once or twice a week and I'll have a glass of Prosecco. On a rare occasion, I'll have two glasses of Prosecco, but not very often. I maybe have one to two drinks a week. The reason is a couple reasons. Number one, I don't sleep well. When I drink alcohol, I will wake up in the middle of the night at two or 3 a.m. and I will be up for two or three hours every single time. And it's just not worth it to me because the next day I'm exhausted, I'm irritable, and it's harder for me to make healthy food choices because what I wanna eat is a cheeseburger and a piece of pizza. I don't wanna eat a salad and a piece of fish because I have drank alcohol and my body is off. And I just, I don't think I process it like everyone else either. I think that's why I feel so bad and I don't sleep even after one or two drinks. So honestly, it's not worth it to me. And if you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to maintain your weight, you really need to give up the alcohol or at least cut down on it. So maybe if you're having, you know, I don't know, maybe you have a glass or two of wine every single night, that's okay, no judgment here. Maybe cut it in half or maybe even cut it down 20%, right? It's baby steps, just making small changes and see if they make a difference. Okay, so this is an amazing black swimsuit. I wanted to show y'all at least a one swimsuit, the one that's on the YouTube thumbnail here because some of you have been messaging me about it. I actually shared it on my Instagram feed, but this is by Same Swim. I love it. You guys, it has a really cool gold chain on the side. It has gold chains up here. This swimsuit comes in like four or five different colors. I have the zebra print as well. It's really cool, really sexy. And so anyways, I'll be sure and link this really cool Same Swimsuit down below in my description box. But that's basically what I do in terms of exercise and what I do in terms of what I eat. So now let's get into bioidentical hormones because yes, I think this does play a part in the size that I am, the weight that I am, and how I feel, right? So like I said, I'll be 50 in November. I am pre-menopausal. I am not in menopause because I have had a period in the last few months and you have to be without a period for a full year in order to be officially in menopause. 
The official age for a menopause or average age, I should say, is 48 to 52. So I realize I'm right in the middle of that. So a quick backlog about me. I was on the pill for 15 years because of PMS symptoms. I was extremely moody, extremely emotional, and I just had tons of heavy bleeding. So I got on the pill to alleviate those things and it did, right? On the pill for 15 years, but I was having people tell me, you don't really wanna be on the pill for that long. So I really wanted to get off and I thought, well, you know what? This is a perfect time for me to get on bioidentical hormones. This was about four years ago that I got on bioidentical hormones or maybe three years ago. So if I'm 49 now, I got on them around age 46, okay? That's when I got off the pill. So I take progesterone every single night and I have an estrogen patch that I have on my body every single day. I change it every three days, okay? I would say I feel less moody, it helps me maintain my weight. The second I got off the pill, I literally lost like two or three pounds. I know that's not that much, but I'm only five foot four. So for me, it's maybe, a, you know, more than you would think, right? Here's what I have to say about bioidentical hormones. First of all, make sure you have an amazing doctor and make sure that your doctor tests your blood levels. This is so important because your hormone levels are going to change as you get older, obviously, and that's the whole point of being on bioidentical hormones is to get your estrogen and your progesterone and your testosterone in the normal level range, right? So she tests my blood or takes my blood every four to six months and she looks at those hormone levels and if they're off, she will adjust. I've actually been on the same dosage of progesterone since I started because my progesterone levels you know, increased to the normal level once I got on the progesterone pill every single night. So that was amazing. I sleep better also. And again, I'm not as irritable. My moods are more level since I've been on bioidentical hormones and also I'm able to maintain my weight. So I love that. Now the estrogen, I have had to up my dosage a little bit in the last few years. And so what I noticed is, you know, I was having really um, tender breasts and so she was like, oh, that means you have too much estrogen. So then we went down a little bit and now they're perfect, right? So those are the only two hormones that I'm on. I did try testosterone about a year and a half ago and it didn't work for me. What happened to me when I tried testosterone and I wasn't getting too much because she was you know, taking my blood and measuring my hormone levels so she can really you know, see exactly how much I need. So she gave me the testosterone pellet. I took it two times. It lasts like three months, I think. The symptoms I had were I was losing my hair. My hair was thinning a lot. And I was also, I felt like a little aggressive, like, I don't know. So I didn't like it. So she took me off of it and I haven't needed it. When I get my blood taken, my testosterone levels are still low, but they don't seem to be affecting anything. So again, because my progesterone levels are great, my estrogen levels are great, I'm experiencing a healthy weight, I'm experiencing good sleep, I'm experiencing you know, good moods most of the time, but again, I am going through a difficult time in my life, the divorce, it's very, you know, obviously high stress, so I'm gonna take that into consideration. But I highly recommend getting on bioidentical hormones because they have definitely helped me, they have made my life better, they have made me feel better on the inside, and I definitely think they are a factor in helping me maintain my healthy weight. So that was a look inside of how I stay fit at age almost 50. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite tip was because I always love hearing from you guys. Um, for more style and health and fitness information, you can head over to my blog, SoHeather.com. And on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope that you guys have a fabulous day and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.